Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you the teardown of the GTX 70 DTI Founders Edition cooler that can be useful if you want to do a full block water cooling or make an hybrid card. I'm sorry if the uh, video quality is not the best, but a new camera is coming. The tools that you're gonna need are a Philips Z00 screwdriver, a 4mm nut driver, and a 2.5mm Allen key. The first thing that you're gonna do is removing the 16 screws holding the back plate. The first thing that you're gonna see is that there is no card, but there is only the cooler because my car, my actual GTX and ADTI, is in my PC, which you can check out right here. Now here, after removing these 8 screws, you will see that the first part of the back plate comes out. Then we can continue removing the others. And the second part comes out. Now you have to remove the 14 nuts with the 4mm nut driver. and the four big screws. Know that doing this will void your warranty. Then you will have to remove these two screws plus uh, three uh, screws holding the display ports, which I don't have in my case. At this point you will have the cooler separated from the current and uh, you will have to disconnect the fan header and the GeForce LED connector and wipe out the pre-applied thermal compound from the GPU. And this will be pretty much all if you're just gonna do a full block water cooling. And now that if you're gonna do this you will have to change all the thermal pads and apply some new thermal paste. But if you want to make an hybrid card, the procedure is a bit longer. Just flip over the card and use the 2.5mm Allen key to remove the 4 screws around the fan and the 3 screws on the sides. You won't have to remove the four uh, screws on the center of the card because they're just uh, holding the uh, transparent plastic. At this point, the stock cooler will come out. And you will have to remove these five screws on the back, two are behind the thermal pad. and then you will have to remove these four screws on the front at this point the fan will come out and then i'm just gonna remove this last part i'm going to do this because there is a little hole uh, near the fan so where you can plug in the pump So guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.